Good afternoon, friends. My name is Jaime Jimenez, and I come from the National University of Mexico. I am part of a long list of Mexican friends Ross cultivated during his lifetime in Mexico. I met Ross in the autumn of 1955, when he was spending a sabbatical year at the National University of Mexico. Let me tell you how I approached Rose and motivated my insertion into his skill. After finishing school in physics, I started my research career at the Space Science Department, and one of my specialties was to simulate the behavior of charged particles arriving from the sun, the solar wind, and being trapped by the magnetic field of the air. That, at the time, was a very sophisticated time and resource-consuming use of the computer. The computer was just uh, beginning at that time. Knowing the potential of this modern electronic device, I gradually became interested in using its capacity to solve the problems <coughs> down on air of a social nature. Actually, there was the belief that with the aid of the computers, we Mexicans could solve ancestral social problems and make a quantum leap to emerge from underdevelopment. Thus, I left space sciences and entered the computer center to learn what at the time were called scientific research packages. That is, linear programming, statistics, simulation systems, the modern tools to solve real problems. I was happy done, uh, doing some consulting for the public and private, private sectors, apparently solving problems with my revolutionary uh, instrument. However, something did not quite work well. Problems were solved at the time, at the moment, but they did not remain solved. For example, I did a computer simu simulation to optimize the coin production at the mean house. Three months later, after the program was tested and delivered, I visited the same, I visited the house and asked how things were doing. They indicated that things are going about the same as before. Why? I asked. Production still has its drawbacks and complaints continue to arrive. Was the answer. Are you using the computer program? I asked you. No. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> it's not of much help, they replied. Was this not a scheduling problem? Was it not solved with a computer simulation that took care of all the control variables? I demanded to know. We thought it was, but it was not. The workers cloned the machines and delayed deliberately the production of coins. So we have no way to schedule the production properly. We did not take into account the workers' behavior. I then realized that something was missing in my scientific approach. The workers were not involved in the solution of the problem. At the time, a colleague of mine, Raul Carvajal, who is somewhere around, invited me to attend Ross Aikov's seminar at the Institute, Institute of Engineering, where Ross was spending a sabbatical year. That was a definite experience that changed my view as a problem solver. First of all, there are no problems, but messes. Messes are systems of problems. If you solve a problem without regarding the whole system, the problem will not remain solved, and other problems may arise. The solution to a mess can seldom be obtained by independently solving each of the problems of which it is composed. 
the system is a set of two or more interrelated elements that have three, pro three properties, and so on and so forth. There were new, for me, and powerful concepts that could help me understand that Mexican races. And that uh, understand the Mexican races and do something about it. Attending Ross' seminar made me decide to go and get the knowledge I missed in the social system sciences program to become a more effective problem solver. I still don't solve problems. Back at home, at pain I benefited with Ross' with wisdom and friendship that lasted until the end. As with many others in the room, the relationship with Ross changed my life. Thank you.